everybody, welcome to PBM's Video Entertainment, and welcome back to another episode of Thomas and Friends DVD Reviews, and Merry Christmas, everyone. Well, technically it's not Christmas since it's still April, but if you're watching this in December, then Merry Christmas. Anyways, today we're going to be talking about yet another Thomas Christmas Home Eater release, and this time we're going to be reviewing the Christmas Engines. So, without further ado, let's jump into the history of the Christmas Engines. So, the Christmas Engines was originally released back in October 28th of 2014 by Hit Entertainment and Universal Studios. And there was also a Walmart exclusive double pack with Hero of the Rails. And now we've got the history part done, let's jump into my copy of the Christmas Engines. Alright, we will now jump into my copy of the Christmas Engines. So, here it is in all its glory. <laughs> And, well, I've had this for for a long time. Well, I've had this back around Christmas of 2014. Say I got this for Christmas. And, yeah. So, let's have a look at the uh, the front postcard. And, of course, this comes with a really nice slip cover. Let's see. Um, I, yeah, the, the logo's embossed. The title card's embossed. Let's see. Santa's reindeer are not embossed. Let's see. Thomas is embossed. Um, I think... Percy's kind of embossed. The snowplows are embossed. Uh, I think the cargo's embossed. The presents. Yep, pretty nice slip cover. <clears throat> Spine, new style hit logo. Scrolling down here, character profile of Thomas, same promo shot of Thomas, just like at the front post art. DVD logo, Universal Studios. Same thing on this spine and the back. Thomas and Friends, on track with Christmas cheer. Blur between a pause and read that. And bonus features, link to the Thomas website, and here's the copyright information at the bottom. Yep. And here's what it looks like without the slip cover. Basically, same thing, except, of course, <laughs> it's without the slip cover. Anyways, um, here's the disc. Squish our version of the front post art. And of course, just like with all the other Thomas DVDs in the United States and Canada, it is region one. And now let's jump into the menu tour for the Christmas engines. All right, we have now jumped into the menu tour for the Christmas engines. So as usual, we have play, episodes, languages, and bonus features. Let's go to episode selection, like we always do. So our episodes are Last Train for Christmas, Long Lost Friend, Duncan the Humbug, Duck in the Water, and per The Perfect Gift. I was about to say Percy and the Perfect Gift, but no, it's just called The Perfect Gift. And of course, our narrator is Mark Morgan. <laughs> Next Language selection, we have, as usual, English, Spanish, and French. And for our bonus features, we have It's Christmas Time Sing Along Music Video. And of course, as usual, Guess Who Puzzles. And then we have trailers from Hit Entertainment and Universal. And that's it for the menu tour for the Christmas Engines. Now let's jump to my review and thoughts on the Christmas Engines. So overall, do I recommend the Christmas Engines? Well, let's see. The answer to that is yes, because <laughs> once again, pretty great episodes. And of course, if if you're a Thomas Homia collector that loves collecting Christmas Homia products and stuff like that, then this one's for you. And what would be my favorite episode out of all those? If I had to choose one, I'd probably say Duncan the Humbug. Because I gotta say, it, it was really awesome. Like, in season 18, they didn't just bring back Oliver and Toad. They also brought back Duncan, which that was really, really awesome. <laughs> Since he's, of course, one of the one of the great, um, definitely one of the great um, characters from, like, the classic era and stuff like that. Yeah. And I gotta say, for the Brynn era, they brought back a lot of characters that were... That were originally from like the classic era. Like they brought back Oliver and Toad, Duck, Donald and Douglas, Duncan, and 
a couple of others, you know, which, <laughs> man, I, I gotta say, I really miss the, the Brennan era a lot. <laughs> like, if they brought back CGI Thomas, I would definitely want them to act more like um, the Brennan era, you know? Yeah. Anyways, um, and there is also another episode in this release I also, I also enjoy. And that one is Last Train for Christmas, where, um, Basically, Connor's trying to get everyone home for Christmas, which I um, thought it was pretty cool. It kind of reminded me of uh, the Polar Express a little bit, because, you know, like, um, the Polar Express is, is, of course, like, the Christmas night train, stuff like that. So, yeah, it kind of reminded me of that a little bit. Anyway, so overall, I recommend you, I recommend you pick up the Christmas engines. If you're a Thomas and Friends homie collector that loves collecting Christmas, homie releases, stuff like that, this one's for you. Or, of course, if you're just a if you're just a Thomas Homie collector in general, then this one's definitely for you. Anyways, that about wraps up this video, and the next episode will be on Signals Cross, so please stay tuned. See y'all next time. Bye!